mí, tú te me quitas. Ya lo que pique te la chamaquita. Me cago en la madre, no me puedo poner el jacket este. <laughs> let's, let's get this started. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. All right, before we get started, let's talk about the song of the mini mini week. Do I need to say it? Do I need to say it? Do I need to say it out loud? Or do the billboard charts speak for me? Mm, I think they do. Yeah, the song of the week is every single song in Un Verano Sin Ti by Bad Bunny. Every single one of them. Especially, especially. Especially El Apagón, Después de la Playa, y Titi Me Pregunto. Y Ojitos Lindo. Go fight with the wall if you don't like him. Go fight with the wall, not with me. Because I'm just simply speaking facts here. That's it. Let's carry on. All right. So as you saw by the title of today's video, today I'm going to put y'all on to what am I? most recent ongoing routines that I've been doing on this hair of mine that is right now in a sleek bun because it is disgusting. I'm, I'm still wearing my gym clothes. I came straight from the gym to come film this video because I need to get this shit rejudged. It's disgusting in here. This is like seventh day hair. It's so sweaty, disgusting, greasy, all of the above. So what makes this routine a little bit different than what I've been showing on my channel previously is this routine is mostly done in the shower. I don't think I've ever shown you any in shower styling routines before so let's give it up for this being the first one i think this is the perfect routine for those of y'all who don't like doing the most that don't like dividing your hair in sections you don't like spending a lot of time brush styling but you still want juicy voluminous results if you don't understand what i'm saying but you're interested please Keep on watching. Let's go into the shower, shall we? Oh my God, welcome back to my shower once again. So I obviously have to wash my hair. I'm gonna be using the Eva NYC Lift Off Volume Shampoo. And instead of a regular conditioner, I'm gonna go with the Briojo Don't Despair Repair Protein Moisture Mask and boom. It's done. So you don't have to watch me wash my hair again. Yay. So at this point, my hair is already detangled, but I still have that Briojo hair mask on my hair. And that is very intentional because I'm going to rinse it out using the squish to condish method, which is very essential and important for this specific styling routine. If you have never heard of squish to condition before, it's basically what I'm doing on the screen right now. I'm letting the water run down my hair and I'm squishing my hair in palm folds to slowly rinse out the product. This not only helps my hair absorb the necessary moisture while getting rid of excess water but it also helps with clump formation and therefore better definition right off the bat i mean look at those clumps already looking juicy and defined and now let's go to the fun part which is styling i'm gonna be using the risa's curls curl defining cream slightly divide my hair in half and apply about a teaspoon and a half of product per side i like gliding down the product first and then raking with my fingers to start separating those curl clumps Trust me, that's so important because it'll lead to juicier, defined curls. This method works great on damp hair, but on soaking wet hair, even better. And of course, then I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side and then head into everybody's least favorite thing to do, brush styling. But trust me, this is like the easiest version of brush styling because your clumps should already look like this, pretty divided, pretty separated. All you have to do is brush right through them individually, one by one and it can be small clumps or bigger clumps. Just brush right through them. Just trust the processes. After doing that to your entire head of hair, all you have to do is start squishing out excess moisture and you're gonna see a boost in definition right away. I mean, look at them, they're so juicy. And the very last in shower styler is gonna be a mousse. You can choose between a mousse or a gel. I prefer mousse because I am more focused on volume for this wash day. And I'm just gonna keep gliding it down and scrunching it back up. And I mean, look, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna show it literally, see, boom. Look at this side and then look at the side without mousse. It literally makes your curls bounce up so quickly. And not to mention, of course, it's gonna give your curls a little bit of hold as well. And I mean, look how juicy and defined those clumps are already looking. And now comes my absolute favorite part, which is plopping, yay. If you've never plopped, the best way to explain it is take a microfiber towel or a cotton t-shirt and put your hair in a little self-contained mound on top of your head and then wrap it. Don't twist your hair or squish it too hard because that's gonna disrupt your curl pattern. I specifically love the ones that have the little button on the front because it's so much more convenient to use and you can leave it on your head for a long amount of time. Okay, hi, we're out of the shower. So right after putting this on, this is completely fucking optional. 
but I like double wrapping it with something else. Why? Few reasons. First of all, this is a little cotton cloth. I think this is from, yeah, yeah this is definitely from Flora and Curl. I'll insert the product image right there. So it feels basically like a cotton shirt and cotton is very, very absorbent. So sometimes my hair is so, so soaking wet that when I put it on my microfiber towel, I can feel the wetness like even outside and this absorbs it so it's like double absorption i don't know if you i don't know if that makes sense but it makes sense in my head so like the drying time is even even shorter and the second reason is because since i'm gonna have this on for the next couple of hours i don't want to look like this like what if i need to step outside i'm not stepping outside with this on so that's why i like to use this <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I use it. It's not exactly a rectangle, but it's pretty long. So I like to put the wider side right behind my head. And then I grab everything else and just twist it in the front. And like do a little ball here in the front, tie it into itself and that's it. And I think this looks way better than just having the microfiber towel on. I don't know, it look like call me crazy, but this looks way better. It's a little head wrap and I love head wraps. If you're not comfortable wearing a head wrap, then just, girl, just wear the damn microfiber towel. This is just to stay inside. So now the real magic begins. You don't have to do anything else. Your hair is just gonna be soaking into the products that you already applied while the microfiber towel or the cotton t-shirt or whatever you put on your head will absorb excess moisture. You can leave it on for honestly as long as you want if you only have 20 minutes only wear it for 20 minutes and take it off and diffuse i'm gonna wear it for as long as possible i've worn it between three four hours like i'd be just doing mashing around the house with this on my head then i take it off and i only literally need like 10 minutes of diffusing and i'm done but today it is pretty late in the day it's 11 47 and i have a meeting at 2 so i'm gonna take it off probably around 1 30 and you'll see you'll see why i love this little method so much see you in a few seconds but in reality it's a few hours bye and i'm back hello it is right now what what it is now 1 25 p.m my meeting starts at 2 let's get this shit going <laughs> now let's take off this thing and I'm gonna take it off already like this because I know that's how my hair is gonna come out. All right, all right. Here we go. Let me give you a close up of how my curls and my clumps are still looking. You know, you like the definition is still there. So I'm gonna flip my head, but in a very specific way. So I'm gonna start flipping it over to the side. Instead of going straight into like flipping my hair back and making a middle part i'm gonna start doing this instead which is like a combination of letting my hair just hang naturally and shaking my roots so that it can start falling where it needs to fall without me manipulating it too much <laughs> careful careful spongebob careful spongebob if you get that reference if not you're probably too young <laughs> Just keep doing the same thing until the majority of your hair just starts falling naturally on the back. If there's any like um, knots or any clumps that you might need to separate in order for your hair to fall back, you can separate them, just do it very carefully. All right, now as soon as you feel like your hair can just fall like that pretty easily, now I'm gonna go with my finishing product, which is this one right here. I've spoken about this little spray from Aussie many times in my channel, but I haven't shown how I use it. Like I haven't shown it in action. So this is basically a hold spray. It's gonna add some hold, a little bit of crunchiness, so just be careful like this is something that you can just use like very little of and you're gonna spray like from eight to ten inches away like you're not gonna go like because that's gonna lead to fucking disaster and stickiness and i'm gonna spray this very like sporadically around my waist and curls from my ear and down without having to really divide it in sections or anything like that my dumb ass i sprayed it directly into my fucking eye <laughs> fucking dumb ass don't do that and that is it if you don't like these types of like hold sprays another alternative would be wave salt sprays 
such as the ones that I'm gonna pop on the screen. They don't add as much hold as this, but they add a little bit of texture, a little bit of um, wave enhancement, let's say. I like both things, I like both options. I've used a couple of those already using the same exact routine and they also work beautifully. So this is what the hair looks like, still a little bit damp. I'm gonna go diffuse and I'll be right back. And we're standing, we're standing and our hair is dry. It is now 1.48. So that was like what? I started diffusing at like 1.30. So like maybe 15 to 20 minutes have passed. And these are the incredibly voluminous results I get with this damn routine. It's not completely over yet, of course. That finishing spray that I used doesn't leave as strong of a gel cast as an actual gel would leave you, but it still leaves you like with a little bit of crunchiness that you can decide like you can definitely leave that little bit of crunchiness on your hair if you like the texture if you like how it looks and how it feels but I'm gonna break it a little bit because I'm gonna put some oil to seal in any moisture that I have in my hair so today I'm bringing an oldie but a goodie the Vermeringa and jojoba treatment oil it's just such a good freaking oil and I still love it I'm still a stand of this oil just in case you you forgot so I'm just gonna put a couple of drops Focus it on the ends, just to break that little bit of a cast. See, and now it's a little bit softer, but the definition is still there, but there's no crunchiness. That's, that's what's important. And that's it, these are my results. It's so voluminous, it's so full of life. The definition is still there, but this is not a definition focused wash day. This is more for the curlies and wavies that prioritize volume and convenience. Overall, technically this routine takes a little bit longer because you have to leave your hair plopped for as long as you possibly can, but it requires like way less steps. And diffusing was a lot faster because the majority of the work was done by plopping. I personally look the fluffy, voluminous, plumped up, lived in look that this type of routine gives me. If this is also up your alley, please give it a chance. Like, I know it's a little bit weird, but like, trust the process. As you saw, like, it was so, so incredibly easy. I think it's also the perfect routine for summertime because, girly, it's about to be hot. Do you really want to spend 40 minutes diffusing your hair with a hot blow dryer? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. And if you want to be a little bit extra, if you want even more root lift and more volume, you can go ahead and use a volumizing spray around your roots, such as this one. This is the one from Living Proof that I've also raved about. And you know what? I'm gonna just do it for y'all. Like this is enough volume for me, but I'm gonna do it for y'all. Just so that you see how I use it. I divide my hair in little sections and I spray this directly on my roots. And you see this, ah! I mean, this is if you wanna like take it up a notch, an extra step. Okay, let, let me sit down again. And that's it, that's my whole entire routine for this glorious volume and very little effort in my opinion. What did you guys think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Would you give it a try? Have you done this before? Have you gotten good results? Have you gotten bad results before? Like. What's the tea? Tell me down below in the comments, please. Thank you very much. I will keep on doing this routine probably all summer long. I really hope you found this um, either helpful, entertaining, or just you don't mind that it exists. Maybe that, maybe that, I don't know. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, please, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram at nemesismario6 or on TikTok at whatever my TikTok handle is now. Also, I didn't mention at the beginning, but I am a Sephora Squad 2022 finalist and the testimonials are still open if you wanna leave me any. I'll leave the link down below in the description. And most importantly, Girls, boys, gender non-binaries, have a great rest of your day.